Alright, after the video yesterday, a lot of uh, teacher or even student actually share with me there's a formula to solve uh, this kind of question because at the last video I say kind of need to use the try and error methods but yeah, end up got one teacher actually share me with this formula so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use this formula in this kind of questions so basically, they ask us to find the square root of 21 plus 12 square root 3 or 22 minus 4 square root 10 so over here let's try about example number one first so let's say i want to do about square root of 21 plus 12 square root 3 okay so over here before i want to go further right like what i say in the last video our objective here is i want to get something like square root inside must be some bracket square so that i can cancel it out and i get whatever here right so my objective here right now is i want to get a bracket square so what we want to do is in order to use this formula right they have a pattern you must change your uh, term inside the square root become a plus 2 third b okay then the a here we need to change it to x plus y and the b here is x multiply y all right so what i want to do here you realize this is 12 is not 2 and then i try to make this number look smaller a little bit by factorize out the 3 so this one i will have about 7 plus 4 third 3 okay but this is still not yet 2 so i want to do a one more step like this so 7 plus if Four I know is two okay four third three. Four is two multiply two right third three. So two here if I want to multiply the two into that I know two I can change to the square root four right because square root four basically is two. So square root four times square root three I will get about square root twelve. Alright, this is what I want to do. So I will change this one become two square root twelve. Okay, then it's kind of already in uh, this pattern. So over here, you get the idea, my a is 7, right? So basically, I know a actually is x plus y, isn't it? So I will say x plus y equals to 7. And then x multiply y will get 12. Okay, so by here, you kind of need to think like, if x multiply y, you get 12, x plus y, you want to get 7. Obviously, it's 3 times 4, get 12, right? So 3 plus 4, get 7, right? So therefore, I will say, um, okay, I will say x is equal to 3, y is equal to 4. Or, I can actually say x is equal to 4, y is equal to 3. It doesn't matter as long as it's both of these terms, because this is a sort of the root for them. Okay, so what I want to do right now is, Okay, then I can change them into something like this. So since I already found right, so I know if I already change in this pattern, of, of course you can write one more step. It's something like 3 plus 4 plus 2 square root 3 times 4. Okay, but I think this step is not necessary. If you already know, then you can straight away change to this one. So you will get 3 bracket square root 3 plus square root 4 square okay then basi basically what uh, what i get here is i just factorize um uh this thing all right so basically it's same here because here if the x uh square root 3 plus square root 4 square i expand it right i will get what i will get 3 plus 2 square root 12 plus 4 so which is 7 plus 2 square root 12. You realize it's 7 plus 2 square root 12. So it's exactly the same thing. All right, then what I want to do next is square root for both terms. So this one is square root 3. And then the next term is square and square root, I cancel it out. Then I will get square root 3 plus 2. All right, then I just multiply in. Then I square root 3 times square root 3, I get 3 plus 2 third 3. Okay, so I can get the answer by just using this formula. Okay, let's try another example. So let's say today I want to find the square root of 22 minus 4 square root 10. So we already understand about this formula, right? So our objective is to get something like 2 uh, square root 10. So over here, what I want to do is I simplify. I factorize out the 2 here. 
So it will become 11 minus 2 square root 10 or third 10. Okay, right now this is just nice. So over here, I know x plus y will get 11. x multiply y will get 10. So over here, you should know uh, x is can be 10 multiply 1, 10 plus 1, isn't it? So I will say 1 is 10, another 1 is 1. Alright, then if you understand this one, you can actually straight away do. Like this one, you can say, okay, it's a square root 10 plus, oh sorry, it's minus because you want to get negative here. It's minus square root 1 square. Okay, some students might wondering, um, this is square root 10 minus square root 1 square. Can I actually write about square root 1 minus square root 10 square? The answer is yes, because if you square both of these and you expand them, both of them are exactly the same. So you can do either one of it, it doesn't matter. Okay, then the next step is um, I square root for 2 and this one, simplify the square. So I get square root 2, then this one will be square root 10 minus 1, because square root 1 is just 1. Alright, then I will just expand them, I will get square root 20, um, and then I will minus square root 2 and square root 20 we know 20 square root 20 is um, square root 4 times 5 right so which is square root 4 times square root 5 then it's 2 sub 5 all right this is 2 sub 5 um, minus sub 2 2 sub 5 minus sub 2 all right so yeah I, I want to thank the teacher who shared this uh, formula to me it makes uh, this kind of question look a lot easier. So next time, if I see some number go a bit crazy, at least I know uh, this is how I can solve this kind of question. Anyways, I hope you learned something from this video. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.